Hi, and welcome to the first accounting course in your graduate accounting degree program. First, let me say how grateful I am to have the opportunity to help you achieve your educational goals. It's truly my pleasure to serve as your instructor. The level of difficulty that you will experience in this class depends on your educational background and also your experience in the accounting industry. Some portions of the course may feel like a review to some students, but don't worry, we will move on to more complex content as we move through the semester. To improve your chances of success, I have added all students to a study group for this semester. You may discuss the answers to the weekly practice quizzes as they are intended to help prepare you for the graded quizzes every three weeks. You may also discuss different approaches to solving the three graded projects. Project one and two are quite complex and you will definitely benefit by discussing those with your teammates. For project three, you may be helpful by providing a formula to your teammates, but please do not give the actual answer to the ratios to your teammates. This week, we will focus on three main topics. First, we, you will learn more about FASB's conceptual framework, which you likely studied in intermediate accounting and may find this part to be mostly a review. Next, we will learn more about FASB's accounting standard codification. To do so, you will need the login information, which can be found under Content, Course Resources, FASB Codification. Please log into the codification and start browsing around. We will be using the codification throughout the semester, so it's a good idea to take time this week to learn how the codification is structured and how to use the codification so that you're not struggling over the next 11 weeks trying to figure that out. We will also study cash and cash equivalents, which is Accounting Standard Codification 305, and the balance sheet, which is Accounting Standard Codification 210. So you may want to browse those topics in the codification as you're learning how to use it. To complete the readings, you will first need to create a Safari Books Online account. To do so, I've posted updated instructions under Content, Course Resources, Books, and then Safari Books Online. Follow those instructions and you should be able to get into a free account. And these accounts that I keep referring to as free are not really free. UMGC pays the subscription fee so that they're free to you. I also highly recommend the Wiley Gap 2018 Interpretation and Application of Generally Accepted Accounting Principles book. It's in content, course resources, books. It's very helpful in explaining the complex discussion in the codification. There are multiple deliverables this week, but don't worry, most are easily accomplished. Most importantly, please remember that unlike a face-to-face -face class, I cannot see your facial expressions in class. So if you are frustrated or struggling with the problem, I need you to please post questions in class so that I can reach out to you. If you don't post questions, I won't know that you're struggling on any particular problem or topic, and I won't know to reach out to you. So I guess the bottom line would be I'm not a mind reader, but I'm really good at helping students learn the problem so that you can pass this class with an A or B and move on to your next graduate accounting course. So please do post questions whenever you have them in class so that all students see your question and all students can see my answer. If you happen to know the answer to another student's question, please feel free to help that student if you happen to see their question before I do. Don't worry about being wrong because I read everything written in class. I don't respond to everything written, but I do read everything written. So if you happen to make a mistake in responding to a student, I will see that and make the correction for you. So please help each other. Everybody's much more capable of earning an A or a B if we help each other. Students helping students and me helping you. 
So welcome to week one. Let's get started. <laughs> 